Mitch Chance was 96 here with another video review. This time we have the Star Wars The Black Series Captain Phasma from Wave 2. So, yeah. It's so going over the package real fast. It's the classic Black Series package. Nothing new or change. We do have the nice artwork of Captain Phasma on the side. I like the way that they're doing it. It's nice, subtle, you know, um, and just good artwork in general. On the back, we've got a closer image of that same artwork. A, uh, a quick, um, uh, Description of Captain Phasma, although it really just says that she commands, you know, uh, the First Order. So yeah, overall I do like the box style, it's just it's nothing new. Um, going over the actual figure now, this was definitely my probably most anticipated hot or um, Black Series figure uh, from Star Wars. I'm very excited for this character. I think that she has the potential to be the coolest character in the film, or she could definitely have the potential to be really underused in the film. It really depends. Uh, we'll have to see, but um, a lot of people are... are uh, you know, really like this character, and because of that, the toys, basically, from any series that has Captain Phasma in it, her toy is the rarest of the series. I was able to get this on eBay. Uh, I paid $37, which was just, it was overpriced, you know, like, I've been watching it on eBay for a long time, and when I saw that price, you know, I was actually making an offer, and I made an offer of 37 because that was by far the cheapest I had ever seen uh, one sell for. Like, the cheapest I think I've seen it sell for is like 44 so I did get a good deal but then in thinking about it I'm like you know why did I overpay for this figure um, and then like two days later after I got it um Hasbro.com restocked on the, the Wave 2 figures, or actually got got them in for the first time, and I did order another Captain Phasma, so overall I shouldn't have bought it in the first place, but I did get it a little early then, so that helps uh, that helps make up for it. Overall, going over the actual figure, it is really a fantastic sculpt. It's not just a repainted Stormtrooper. Um, as you can see, the Stormtroopers are much smaller. I'm not quite sure if there are any elements from the Stormtrooper in this figure. Um, um, the legs are definitely completely new. Uh, the arms maybe have some, uh, even them, they, they look smaller. I mean, they're the same design. It's just the Stormtrooper's arms do look smaller. So I don't think that they've reused any of the parts from the Stormtrooper, which is quite nice, you know. Even though her armor is very similar, uh, it is a completely new sculpt, which is great. Um, going over the, uh, the helmet here, overall it looks fantastic. I really do like this helmet design just in the movie in general. It's it's a basically a Stormtrooper look, uh, however it has some extra lines and some extra texturing in the black areas. And then instead of the edges curving in like a Stormtrooper, they bow out, which is really quite nice. And from the back, she's got a very Darth Vader shaped helmet, which I think is pretty cool, especially with that black cape, you know, it looks like Darth Vader with the silver helmet. Overall, I really do like that that face sculpt. The armor on the uh, the actual figure itself is quite nice as well. Uh, basically the same as a Stormtrooper, just larger. And then she has uh, different feet. They're a little more pointed with an extra guard up here. And then the um, there's this extra kind of extra uh, piece of armor that goes around the shin here, just, just above the ankle. Overall, really nice. She does even still have the clip to hold a pistol. Um, so, you know what? I, I just, I'm just noticing that now. I've got a Finn right here, and I, I have Finn hold that weapon. So, let's see. It should be able to stick in. There you go. Yeah, it doesn't look like she actually has a pistol in the movie. However, you could um, use this if you want. You know, paint it in that, uh, that kind of light gold uh, like she has on her gun, and then paint it on the, uh, the handgun. That would be kind of neat. But overall, it is nice that uh, it still is functional, which is cool. Alright, now going over the actual cape, the cape is quite nice. I really do like the design of the cape in the movie, you know. It's not like a full-on cape, it's it's more of a, uh, a shoulder, you know, kind of drapery almost. You know, I don't know quite how to uh, describe it. But I do like the fact that it does go over one of her shoulders. And then because of that, is at the bottom here, it is at uh, quite an angle. I like the way that it's sculpted a lot, it's pretty simple. They've got a lot of nice lines there. And then they do have a red stripe on the side. Um, a little bit of uh, paint uh, that's not so even there. You've got that one little extra line of red paint. And then based on where that crease is, it looks like the red doesn't hit that crease in a lot of areas too. But overall, it's, it's very unnoticeable and nothing too bad. Um, the face sculpt is just really nice. Uh, the uh, Sorry, the armor. The other thing is she does have this little kind of dent on her armor. The, I, you know, this isn't from the movie. It is actually just a flaw on this one, which is unfortunate. 
Uh, but overall, I really do like this. They did decide to go with a silver. They did a really nice silver, though. It's uh, it's quite, it's some metallic, you know, it's got a little bit of uh, darkness in it. It's not like super shiny, but it is quite shiny, which is very nice. Um, of course, I would have preferred them to go to chrome, considering that is the accurate color in the movie. She, she is in a chrome armor, and um, they didn't do the chrome on this one. However, still looks great, though. The gun itself is quite nice. You know, uh, I think it might just be... Yeah, taking a look here, I think that it's just a repainted Snowtrooper gun, uh, which I really like. I love the Snowtroopers guns. Um, I think that they're ten times better than the Stormtroopers. Uh, the Stormtroopers gun is just, it's too big to be a handgun, yet in my opinion it's just too small to be a gun that's held with two hands. This is a nice size weapon with a stock. Um, it's basically the same thing as the Stormtroopers weapon, just with a stock. And I think the stock is just really nice, it adds some extra... Uh, uh, bulk to the weapon and allows it to look cooler when it's being held with two hands. Overall though, sculpted quite nice. Um, it is a, it's a shiny color too, but it's like a light gold. Um, that's how Hot Toys describes the color of her gun, so uh, I'm going with the light gold. You know, in some lights it has a, you know, very light copper or light brown type of look to it, um, but I do see the gold in there, so it does look really nice and, you know, kind of it's a nice compliment to the armor, basically, so I do like that a lot. Going over articulation, and uh, that's what the Black Series is really known for. Also, it, she doesn't, there isn't like an actual hole with the trigger that her finger goes in. Um, it's just kind of like a sculpted uh, uh, raised section right here. And her hand fits uh, uh, the handle really nicely. They sculpted it very well, so it stays completely in her hand, no issues uh, whatsoever, even though it doesn't have a finger that goes into the hole of the weapon. Alright, so articulation is great for Black Series, of course. She's got a ball-jointed head, which is on a hinge. Um, mostly just a ball joint, though, uh, based on the cape and everything. Uh, she can look up about that much and down quite a bit. It's got ball hinge shoulders, hinge swivel elbows. Um, of course, I really wish that the Black Series adopted a ball, uh, sorry, double-jointed uh, elbows. That would be much nicer for holding the weapons. However, her bend on her elbow is superior to the Stormtroopers, so you can get a better... Um, uh, uh, better bend so that she can hold the weapon uh, more naturally and closer to her chest rather than having the weapon being held so far down like you basically have to do with the stormtroopers here because that's about as tight as a bend, of a bend that you're going to get on the stormtroopers well as you can see you get more of a 90 degree bend with Captain Phasma um, we've got ball hinge wrists, the wrists do hinge in and out this way Overall quite nice. It's got a ball jointed upper torso down, up, you know, to the side and everything. You do get a bit of that uh, rocking side uh, to the side, which is quite nice, especially if you want to pose her. Uh, ball jointed thighs that are hindered slightly by the pouches, um, but you can, you know, twist the, uh, the, the thigh swivel to, uh, to manipulate it enough where you can get some good, you know, good poses in it. So, overall a bit hindered, but nothing too bad. You've got a double hinged knee and then hinge pivoting ankles. The pivot, I was worried, was going to be a little hindered by the armor here. However, it doesn't seem to be armored what, or hindered uh, whatsoever, which is very nice. Overall, just a really fantastic looking figure and uh, well articulated and just the character design is so cool looking, you know. It's just a, a, a chrome a stormtrooper with a cape. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Some size comparisons here. Well, first of all, let's just compare her with the um, Elite Series counterpart. Here's the Elite Series Captain Phasma. As you can see, they both look fantastic. Um, the Elite Series figure has more skinnier proportions. I feel like the Elite Series tried to make Captain Phasma look like a woman. Uh, however, the Black Series just went with a pure armor. I'm not quite sure which one's more accurate. I have a feeling that the Black Series is more accurate because I don't remember her having some proportions that were more feminine um, compared to the other Stormtroopers uh, from the trailers that we've seen. But as you can see, they've went with you know much skinnier legs on the Elite Series, even skinnier arms and a skinnier torso in general, I think. So they did try to give her more uh, woman-like proportions, uh, which, you know, isn't bad. I think that it looks good. I just don't think it's accurate. Um, but it's it's something that I didn't notice until I got the Black Series figure. So it's not an issue if you don't like the fact that it's maybe not accurate. Uh, it really won't be noticeable to you unless you have the two compared to each other. Um, 
Overall, both are fantastic figures. If you just want one Captain Phasma, uh, you know, you can try to, you know, uh, put the Elite Series 1 in your Black Series collection. I just don't think that it's going to be in very good scale because the Black Series 1 is already quite tall, so the Elite Series 1 is just too big. Overall, they're both great, though. You've got much better articulation with the Black Series 1, but the Elite Series still has good articulation. And then the Elite Series is, of course, metal, which is a, a really, you know, quite cool. So, overall, it's a very nice figure. And uh, either way, if you go with either of them, you're going to be happy. You know, they're both good figures. Here she is with a Stormtrooper, as well as Kylo Ren. As you can see, she is taller than them all. Um, I believe the actress that plays Captain Phasma is 6'3". I, I believe that that's her height, so she should be taller than them. Um, I don't know how much taller she should be to, to uh, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren is quite short in the Black Series. Um, maybe that's the case in the movie, but I believe that he's like six foot. You know, he's not a short guy or anything, so uh, I'm not quite sure why they've done him so small in the Black Series. In the Elite Series, they've done him much taller and basically as tall as Captain Phasma, um, but here they've done him much shorter than Captain Phasma and even a smidge shorter than uh, the Stormtrooper actually. Uh, so overall I'm not quite sure if the um, if Kylo Ren is accurate in size to Captain Phasma. Uh, he certainly could be though. Overall this is a really nice figure uh, just character wise I mean it's definitely going to be a must have. She could be one of the coolest characters in the movie. So she, she certainly is uh, the coolest looking character in the movie in my opinion. I just absolutely love her look so very excited uh, to get more of her figures especially the Hot Toys one uh, considering they seem to be the only company that's done, them, uh, done her in chrome uh, which is you know uh, really fantastic. Uh, if you've ordered the figure arts one, that should be in just about the same scale as the Black Series, so you really don't need this one. Um, however, it is nice to get this Black Series figure because the figure arts one doesn't come out in, uh, until February. I have pre-ordered that one, though. I'm very excited for that. But there you go. That's my review of the Star Wars The Black Series Captain Phasma. Thanks so much for watching.